This is Ryan reporting live from San Diego Comic Con. Ish. And you won't believe the news. The Hello Kitty truck returns. And for more San Diego Comic Con news, stay tuned to Comic Call. Wait, too early. Hey guys, Ryan here, your friendly little bad guy, the Rhino. You may remember me from the intro video. Hello YouTubers and comic fans alike, welcome to Comic Hall. The main channel, a part of Comic Hall Associated Channels. Or even my old channel, Marvel at HQ. And it is now time to say goodbye Marvel at HQ. And hello, Comic Hall. That yes, we made past 120 subscribers. But back to the point, I'm here to report all the news for San Diego Comic Con 2016 in my big red car. Yes, I am that one left out Wiggle member. Hashtag OG Wiggles for the win! <laughs> When I saw these trailers, this was exactly me. There is so much to talk about. First of all, we get an extended Luke Cage trailer. So the new hero of Harlem is shown entering a building, listening to Shimmy Shimmy Ya by Old Dirty Bastard, beating the crap out of some guys and even using a car door as a useless shield and wrapping a guy in it. And let's just say they totally got caged. And we also get a small teaser for Iron Fist himself. Though only a teaser, it seems largely based off his comic origin. Basically, we see him and his mom in a crashing plane. His father's watching the snow. They are presumably in the Himalayas, if comic accurate. And we see some Kunluns. Kunlunians? Kunluners. People of Kunlun looking at him in a crashed chair. Then there's a few more stuff I'm not going to go into right now. We also get an even smaller teaser for the Defenders, and it's hinted that the Hand will be the villains for the TV series. Get it? The Big Hand? And we also hear Stick in the background, essentially saying that the Defenders suck. The four of you can save New York. You can't even save yourselves. You know what? Screw you, Stick, and you can go shave your own shelves. And last but not least, Daredevil Season 3 is going to be a thing. Thank Thor! Enough of the Netflix news, now onto regular TV news. Set pictures of the Tick live action series popped up, which honestly, live Tick action could be good. Well, eh. In other TV news, Gabriel Luna was cast in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 as none other than the Spirit of Vengeance himself. Except not Johnny Blaze, he will be the Robbie Reyes version. As in the one with the epic flaming car, you know? And Jason O'Mara will be playing the new director of S.H.I.E.L.D. after Colton demoted himself. Marvel didn't tell us who he'd be playing, but did say he is connected to Marvel history that extends all the way back to the 1940s. Now, for TV trailers, let's look at the Flowerverse for a sec. There's a trailer for The Flash Season 3, and it's about the Flashpoint Paradox, which will be insane. Also, an Arrow Season 5 trailer and Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 trailer will be released. A new Walking Dead Season 7 trailer was released, and a trailer about a show no one really thought was actually going to happen. Fox and Marvel have teamed up to make a TV series called Legion, starring a character with the same name. Legion is a mutant, and is also Charles Xavier's son. He is hinted at being the most powerful mutant in the world, which is a really interesting concept. So, who's excited? Especially not to get annihilated. Also, in animated TV news, Sonic Boom gets a season 2, which could be considered gaming news, which brings us to the next part of the news. Gaming! Continuing with the Sonic news, Sonic Manja, a 2D Sonic game, will be released near the start of 2017. Also, another Sonic game, which is currently untitled, will be released in 2017, and will be released on the PC and console, including Nintendo's new console, the Nintendo NX, which is all news by now. Also, The Walking Dead, a Telltale series, season 3 was finally announced at Comic Con, at last, which is great news for those fans of the series, like me, and Final Fantasy XV, 15 for all you guys that don't know, was also announced. A new Injustice 2 trailer dropped, starring Wonder Woman and Blue Beetle. And one of the biggest games right now has some updates announced. Not Though not yet implemented, it has been announced that trading will soon be implemented. Finally, more Pokemon will also be added, it's about time, including more first generation Pokemon and later generation Pokemon. Pokestops have also been said to be getting an upgrade, though all the details aren't yet shared. And the last Pokemon Go 
the news, the team leaders have been revealed. For Team Valor, the leader is Candela. For Team Mystic, it's Blanche. And last, and to be honest, probably least, Team Instinct gets Spark as leader. Team for the win! In other gaming news, another Overwatch character was teased at Comic-Con. Blizzard, the creators of Overwatch, have teamed up with Dark Horse, a comic book company many people don't know to exist, to make some Overwatch comics, which will benefit from both companies. In other comic news, IDW and DC announced more crossover comics between the two of them. Now, to the part with the news that everyone cares about most, movie news! First up is the new Marvel Studios Lego. a title sequence. Marvel announced a lot more than DC did, and there weren't small news either. Starting off with Brie Larson, cast as Captain Marvel, which she was long rumoured to be, and it was now confirmed. In other casting news, the main cast of Black Panther was confirmed, showing that Michael B. Jordan, former Human Torch, will now be portraying a Marvel villain. Let's hope he's one of the good ones. He'll be portraying Killmonger. And for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, a logo has been released for it, looking retro as you do. And Yondo with a head fin, just like the comics. And now for some casting news, Kurt Russell was cast in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, quite long ago actually, and he was rumored to be um, portraying Peter's Quill's father. And at Comic-Con, it wasn't confirmed that he is, in fact, but it turns out he isn't going to be playing Jason of Spartak like in the comics. In the movies, Kurt Russell will be portraying Ego, as an eager planet, you know, Peter's cool father is a planet. Think about it for a second. Apparently, he takes human forms and gets it on with Quill's mom. Seriously, Marvel? Seriously? Okay. Maybe DC has some more sane. Oh, here we go. Warner Brother Animation announces three new animated movies after releasing The Killing Joke. These films are Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. Justice League Dark and Batman and Harley Quinn. Not my first choice for a movie, but hey, better than Father Planet over here. What other news does DC have? Wow, nothing really. Oh well. There was a Batman suit that the Joker wore and looks Jokery. Is that news? Yeah, sure. And that's all DC news, really. Oh, Power Rangers. New look at the suits. Much clearer. Well, back to Marvel. Crazy ass Marvel. Ragnarok shows its new logo, and it's so pre when I was born. Still pretty cool though. More news for Ragnarok, Sator was confirmed as the villain in Ragnarok, however not a major one. And last for Ragnarok, and certainly not least, props for Ragnarok were showcased. And one took everyone's attention, gladiator armor. Hawk sized gladiator armor. Hell to the freaking yes! Although it's a little stupid making practical armor for a CGI monster. In other news, an interview with the Doctor Strange director revealed some interesting details. He states that Doctor Strange is the start of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, emphasis on universe part, which could be unbelievable if done right. Spider-Man Homecoming news now. Much of the cast for Homecoming was announced and concept art for the main villain, the Vulture, which could be played by Michael Keaton, and his wings look way more mechanical and powerful. It was also accidentally revealed by Marvel the villains for Homecoming, Vulture, obviously, the Tinkerer, and the Shocker. My bet is that Keaton will be actually the Tinkerer, and he hasn't appeared on the set yet, so how could he be the major villain? My bet is on the Tinkerer. But that's a part of the point. Now, into the trailers. Finally, Ryan, you got into the trailers at last. A Justice League trailer. That's right, a Justice League trailer. So damn early. And a Wonder Woman trailer too. Yay. Now, a trailer was revealed for Kong, Skull Island, which is supposed to be the biggest King Kong yet, and it's not holding back, which makes it easier for Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. And yes, this movie is the same universe as Godzilla, 
except it's a prequel. A new Fantastic Beasts trailer was also released, a Harry Potter spin-off movie, and a new Doctor Strange trailer. So mind-boggling. There was also some footage of Spider-Man Homecoming, just going on his usual Peter Parker life, Thor Ragnarok, and Guardians of the Galaxy. But they aren't public. I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube and some DC animated trailers, another Lego Batman trailer, a trailer for Justice League action TV series. Please don't be like Teen Titans Go. Please don't be like Teen Titans Go. Please. And for the last story of today comes from Disneyland, California. They are in works for a new attraction for a Guardians of the Galaxy ride sort of thing, known as Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. If anyone has free Disneyland tickets, hit me up, bro. So thanks for watching the, well, first official video on comic haul. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. I'm sure I covered most of the stuff, but tell me in the comments below. What are you most excited about or interested you the most? Check out the intro videos for on each of the channels for chat, or even the last video on the old channel which says a better job at explaining comic haul associated channels. Like if you enjoyed, one of the best ways to show support and show the, to the new channel and encourage us and show we're going the correct way. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you please, because a comic because the comic haul associated channels are just getting started.